ChatGPT is known for making business easier. And yeah, a lot of people use it, especially when creating images, building their brand, making mockups, and so on. But what if I told you that there's a tool out there that can do it 10 times faster? Let me show you. This is Kittle Flow, and it is a complete game changer on what you could do. So just to give you a little oversight, you could take your original image and transform it within seconds. But not only that, you can add it to anything you want, you can create whatever you want, and you can see how it looks as your brand. Because just because you create a design doesn't mean it's going to apply to everything. It might look good on a t-shirt, but it might not look good on a hat. And this is where this tool really excels because it's going to allow you to understand, okay, I'm building a brand, what should the brand be? Now, I created this right here. It's just a barbell and I did this through Mid Journey. I drew this out, threw it in there, said, hey, create this for me. And the reason we're starting with this is because it's very rough. And I wanna show you how taking a rough image or a rough design, how you could transform this. So if I zoom in, you can see that there's some texture here. Um, you know, the lightning bolt isn't the best, but it's on a black background. It's not transparent. It works, but you would want to kind of modify it, right? Now, everything I'm about to show you in here, by the end of this, also show you in ChatGPT to show you how long it would take to do it in there. And trust me, you are going to be fucking wowed on how fast Kittle is compared to ChatGPT. So the first thing we do is open up an artboard and you put your image in there and you're gonna click right here and you're gonna go smart board. Now what it does is it creates a smart board off of this. So wherever this arrow goes, this is your original design and whatever you type in here, it's going to take that original design and convert it. So in this case, say we just want this as a solid color. I'm gonna use very basic prompts during this video to show you that you don't have to go elaborate. You do not have to go very in depth to create something successful. So just say, you know, make this logo into one solid color, all right? That's it. And then from there, I'm gonna actually do a transparent background, click generate, and it's gonna generate that. Now, while this is actually generating, I'm actually going to create another one here, and that's gonna give me another line. And I wanna add some words over it to see what the words would look like. So I want to add text over the logo, add unleash the, on the top, beast on the bottom. And here we go, we have two different images here and I can keep on adding more and more. So say if I wanna do another smart board, I can add another one. Now for this one right here, I'm saying that I wanna in a building, I wanna see what it would look like, say in a gym type of atmosphere, in a concrete wall with lights on it and the workout equipment blurred out. So it is a little bit more in depth than these other ones, but I wanna just showcase like taking this actual design and putting it into a place so you can get an overall sense of your brand before you put it on a product. And that is done. So I'm gonna zoom in here so you, just so you can see this, right? So you have the workout equipment in the back, a little blurred out, you have it in bows in that concrete wall, a little bit of that neon reflection light given it, right? So this was your brand. Now you know what it would look like in a wall and you can just mess with it depending on the prompting. Now, this right here is something that you'd wanna to add to say, you know, a product, right? And in this case, after you have what you like, which one you want here, you click on this and then this is when you click smart board again. Wherever you move this, this is connected here. So this was the original design. This was the modification. And adding this is where you take this design and put it on what else you want. In this case, what I wanna do is I wanna see what this would look like as in an embroidery option. So I want to convert this to an embroidered logo. Very simple prompt, not anything crazy at all. And now that that's done, I'm gonna zoom in just to show you on how it actually embroidered this. This is something that you typically can't do. I mean, you need a mock-up in order to do it. You would have to have a Photoshop with a smart object. You put the font in there, your image, so on and so forth, and then it would create it, right? All I did was just simple prompt saying, hey, convert this to an embroidered logo just so I can see what it looks like. And look at the quality of this, right? You can actually see it on here. And if I wanted to make the background transparent, I could, and then put it on whatever I want. But now with this, you know, it's like, okay, that looks nice. What would it look like on a hat though? Like smart object here and just say, add the logo to a black hat. I want the image to be of a person wearing it in a gym atmosphere. They are exhausted, their arms are crossed, and the hat is in full display. Click generate on that, and now it's gonna take this logo, put it on a hat with somebody that is standing in a gym with their arms crossed. So I'm gonna move this, I'm gonna create another smart board based off of here, okay? And as you see the line, gotta follow the lines, all right? I want 
to add some texture to the barbell with some added white to add separation. Now, while this one's loading, as you see right here, if I zoom in, right, guys in the gym, arms crossed, you see the hat, you can see it's embroidered. I mean, you have a great sense and idea on what it would look like on a person, on a hat, in that type of atmosphere. Now, going over here, scrolling down to the other one, you can see we added a little bit of different texture, right? Before, this wasn't white, this was black, so add a little bit of texture, and we can keep on going as well. See where it says beast, we had a texture there. And now, it's getting a little bit more in depth. This is how the actual flow in Kittle works, is you'll start with your original, make your different designs that you want. Based off those designs, start creating different product types to see what it'll look like. And you could go really in depth with this, especially when you're building a brand. You can make whatever you want, put it on whatever you want. Now, what I mean by that is, say if you have a physical business and you wanna have signage, what is that signage gonna look like on certain buildings? Or if you are launching a POD store, will that you know design that you just made that looks amazing look good on all different products. And if it does look good on certain products, does it look good on certain colors? This is one of the most important aspects when building any business is just because you have a great design doesn't mean that that design should be applied to everything. And having something like this, where you have the smart boards, where you can mess with things and see what it looks like in different outputs allows you to build your brand 10 times faster. Now, we've already done this one, so I wanna show you just off, based off another template here. This one's love with a, you know, a dog print, right? If I take this and I wanna start this one, all you have to do is, again, click Smart Board, and you're gonna have that line. Remember, this is the original. This is whatever I wanna convert it to. So, again, basic prompt here, right? I'm gonna convert this paw to a dog. So, change the dog print to a red cartoonized puppy that is in the same shape. All right, so while that loads, I'm gonna move this, and I'm actually going to do another one here since it is a dog one. I want to convert the paw, the dog paw, into a cat paw instead. Now, I'm sorry my typing is all fucked up. I'm like leaning forward on this fucking keyboard, so I apologize about that, but I really should just have another keyboard in front because I do type really quick, uh, whatever though. Anyway, I'm gonna add another one as well. So convert this and I want to show you again that embroidery to me is just insane. I have a video teaching people how to add embroidery to things and it was a very lengthy process. So convert this into an embroidered font and I'm gonna make it a transparent background, click that and let all three of these load for us. And here we go. Now, obviously I asked for a cat print, but you know, the cat paws are kind of look like dog paws a little bit. So probably why it didn't convert that. But as you see, right, we have a little cartoon doggy here. We got a little cat here for the love. And right here, the one I love, the embroidery. I mean, fucking insane, just this in general. It's crazy on the quality of that. So if I wanted to take this, okay, and I wanted to convert this to show you what it would look like on a shirt and you know, like the top corner, we can easily do that just by typing in the prompt right now. Okay, so now I went a little bit more in depth on this actual prompt, but I'm asking for an ultra realistic photo of a person standing in a sunny park. I want them to be wearing a sweatshirt with this embroidered you know, logo on it and so on and so forth. So we're gonna generate that and see what comes up. And there we go. I mean, it's a little big because I didn't really, you know, justify the size, but if you notice, right, person standing in a park, they look realistic here and it's embroidered right on their shirt. So you get a sense of what it would look like on that product itself. This right here is legit why this is changing the entire game of building a brand. Because you could do this within seconds to get an idea, like I said earlier. But to prove this point, I'm gonna jump on ChatGPT to show you how long it takes. And I'm actually going to record this, you know, time it to show you how long it's gonna take. So let me jump on here really quick and show you. All right, so added the image here and let's start this timer. Okay, so timer here, stopwatch, timer. Uh, here we go, starting it right now, all right? So first thing we wanna do is create this into a solid color because that's what we did, right? Using this image, make it into one solid color. Now I'd have to start with the solid color because if I add the text over it and then try to convert it, like I said earlier, I'm going to have to say, hey, remove this, right? All right, so it said, here's a gray scale. That's interesting. Click on this. 
and there we go and that is not a solid color at all so it did not do what i asked i need this converted into one solid color vector let's try that see and it says oh well we can't do it we don't have access to portraits i don't know what the heck portraits is i don't care just convert it convert the image to one solid color white how about that see i already having issues right from the start display the image instead of downloading it. I mean, this is just insane on what's going on right now. It is not working at all. So how about I reload ChatGPT again? What we're gonna do is I'm gonna add the image, okay? And I'm going to say create image. So I choose the image option. Let's see if that will now work, all right? Make this into one solid color. There we go, now it's starting to work. And it's very strange because sometimes, mo well, most of the time, I do not have to select image when I'm asking it to create an image. It's very weird, it's telling me to download it. ChatGPT, sometimes it just wants to do whatever it wants to do, and you have no choice in that matter. Where at least with Kittle, I have the smart boards where I could just keep on adding different smart boards and figure out what I want. So already, we're two and a half minutes in, and we still don't have a complete solid color. Everything that I showed you before took me less than 10 minutes. So we're already way behind the eight ball on building our brand. Now it's still creating, it says may take a moment. And just to show you how fast my internet speed is, okay? I just went to fast.com here. I have over a gig of speed, all right? And it's still loading, 1.2 gigs. And I'm still waiting for this to appear. We are now at three minutes and 30 seconds and I still do not have a solid color. Finally, we are at four minutes now, have our solid color. We could start kind of working off of this, all right? Now, what was the next thing I had? I added some text to it. So we're gonna say um, add text over the top and bottom. On the top, I want it to say unleash the, on the bottom, I want it to say beast. All right, so. Now I'm adding the text over the top and the bottom, which again, you had to start with that solid color because if I did it the opposite way, you would have issues. And anybody that's played around with ChatGPT knows trying to convert it back to that original image is virtually impossible, so don't do it. Okay, now it's actually going a little faster. So here we go, Unleash the Beast. That's pretty nice. Okay, not too bad, I like it. All right, do you like the personality? Sure, why not? Click on it. All right, thanks for your feedback. Now, the next thing we did was we made it into an embroider, right? Um, now, we actually did that with the original, so I'm gonna put the original back in here. And the only reason I'm gonna do that because if I embroider this, it's just gonna embroider that one. So convert this image into an embroidered font. Oh, and I spelled font wrong because I'm typing a mile a minute, arms are reached, whatever. So let's Give this a second. We are now at seven minutes and I am trying to convert this into a broidered image, but it's slowly getting there. And, you know, just to think on how much we did in such a short time on Kittle with all those different smart boards. Now you understand why I said I'd done this before and it took me over an hour to do this through ChatGPT. Now, clearly I'm not gonna make you sit there for an hour while I show you every little aspect that we just did before, but I think that this is really just eye-opening for a lot of people right now. I love ChatGPT and I use it on a daily basis, but seeing how slow this is when trying to build these brands and trying to you know, build a successful POD product, it's literally night and day. All right, so we have this done. Uh, I'm gonna turn up the brightness because I can't really see it. So zoom in on here, it actually, it came out pretty good. You know, my brightness is down, so I have to like lean forward, put my glasses on there to see that, right? It did not come out bad, so I'm surprised with this. Now, what we did here is we put this on a hat, right? So I wanna add this, add this logo to a black hat with a person wearing it in a gym. Their arms are crossed and they are exhausted. I want the wording to be white. And we are going to see if this is going to create that for us. It should because chat GPT is pretty good at creating that. But in the sense of doing this all in speed is what I've been talking about this entire video. Time is money. And if you're sitting there for hours trying to replicate this and get an idea and design and figure out where you're going and you want to make money, 
you need the fastest route possible. And that's why Kittle is the game changer that I'm showing and have been showing this entire video because I don't have time to sit here for an hour or two messing with different things to try to see what works and what doesn't. It's still getting started and we're almost at 10 minutes, which is exactly the whole entire time frame that it took me to do this already. And I converted a lot more images on that other end. Not to mention, we haven't even gotten to the love paw yet. So I mean, we're way behind on everything right now, but it's at least coming up with something. So, you know, fingers crossed it did what I asked. I didn't give it a crazy prompt. And I like to do that in a lot of videos. I do have an entire prompting video to teach you how to go in depth with it, but I know a lot of people don't know how to prompt, so I try to make them as basic as possible to show you could still make all these things with basic prompts. If you go a little further and in depth, that's where you really hit home and take off. But it's popping up right now, and this is actually looking pretty good. I do like this one versus the other one we had. Um, if you notice the fonts different though, right? So this U is kind of curved. It stops right here and here it's over it. Okay. So it actually took our image and changed the entire image completely. The U is all the way over here. The E is all the way over here. Beast is there. And that is not what that looked like at all. Because if you scroll up here, you know, all I did was say convert it to white font and it stretched it. So. Again, you're not getting a sense and style of what it would look like. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to grab our love paw here. Okay. And I want to change that paw right to a dog. So change the paw print to a red cartoonized puppy, which is the exact prompt that I gave in Kittle. And it's going a little slow. We're at about 13 and a half minutes right now. It's a pretty cute puppy. All right. I like it. We would now have to, after that, we'd have to convert it into embroidery and then from there put it on something. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to add another one, do this. I'm going to create, you know, the entire prompt that we had here. I'm going to take out the smart board because that is not what we're doing. And we are going to convert this using the same exact prompt that I did before where it should be on the chest. Okay. And now it already put it out. If you notice, right, see these little things here, these little hearts, it did not put those on there at all. They're gone. Where did they go? If I go to the original that I put in the kittle board right here, it kept everything on it. This just shows you right here on the quality of this system versus using ChatGPT in general. But that's not even the big thing, right? We're at 16 and a half minutes here. And this is all that I created within about 10 minutes, all of this and all of this. And everybody just saw how much work I had to do just to even get little things that are incomplete on ChatGPT. And there you have it. Quick, simple, easy. If you are not using Kittle Flow right now, I would definitely suggest that you do it. <laughs> Either way, I think I might have just broke my phone, but whatever. Check the link in the description below, test it out, and trust me, you're gonna be wondering why you haven't been using this all along. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment below. You know I'd love to hear from you. And thank you so much for watching. Talk to you soon.